What we're going to talk about today is what is happening with the interest rates. So the Fed is going to lower interest rates. The committee is completely unified in the need to get inflation down to 2% and will do whatever it takes to get it down to 2%. All signs are pointing to them lowering rates again sometime in November, maybe in December. Why is this good and why is this bad? Is because prices are going to go up. There's no way prices are not going to go up. Why? Because refinances surged 35% last week when the news of the Fed lowering rates hit the market. So many people were rushing out saying, oh my gosh, I could lower my interest on my house. I'll go refinance and lower my payment. Now, what's interesting to me about that is one, it shows you that a quarter of a point actually makes a big deal for people or half of a point makes a big deal for people. For some people that could be $60 a month, that could be $100 a month less in a payment. And so refinances are surging, which means loan officers, processors, underwriters of all the big mortgage companies are back to making money. So that's going to spike the economy. That's good. The bad side of that is that people are going to rush out and buy houses, which what happens to that? All the prices of houses go up. Now, if you're a real estate investor like me, I want my prices to go up and I want my interest rates to go down. So what's going to happen is we had a meeting in my company, me, Bo, Molly. Bo is my asset manager. Molly is my chief of operations. We just had a meeting as a team and we started having a pruning conversation. A pruning conversation is where we look at the horizon and we say, all right, what assets, what houses, what big multifamily properties do we have in the portfolio that have gone up enough in value that it's time for us to sell them or refinance them? And I'm at a point in my real estate career that I'm trying to slowly get rid of my single family properties that I've owned for five or seven years. I've got a handful of properties, roughly $1.5 million in equity, and I really don't see them appreciating as rapidly as they did in the past in the future, even if rates go down. Let's pick some houses to get ready to put on the market. And let's take that $1.6 million and let's roll that into something bigger so that we can do a 1031 exchange. That's what's gonna be happening with a lot of real estate investors that already own real estate is they'll say, I need to sell some of my stuff. Now, why would I roll into some bigger stuff? Isn't that more to manage? No, it's less to manage. The bigger the asset, typically the less time and energy you put into managing it five single family properties is about the same amount to manage as one RV park. And so I'd rather roll my $1.6 million in equity into one RV park and consolidate and shrink the amount of doors I own, or at least the amount of properties I own into something a little bit more manageable. The good side of this is if I'm already in the game, I'm going to win. My properties are going to go up in value. The bad side of this is if I'm looking to get into the burr strategy, or I'm looking to get into you know, traditional real estate investing, the prices of everything are gonna go through the roof. Now, if I'm also a homeowner looking to buy a house, a family that has to go down to a bank as prices are going up, they're still gonna be paying 6% on an interest rate, which is not perfect. But I think what's gonna happen is they are going to reboost the economy right before the elections. If I was the Fed and I was being encouraged by maybe the president of the United States saying, I need to get reelected or make the current regime like Kamala Harris look good, like the economy's good. I think lowering rates would be a really good sign for us. And that might be beneficial for a political standpoint. So there's a lot of things that happen when an interest rate drop just a quarter of a percent or half of a percent. So if you're somebody out there saying, Pace, I don't want to go through a traditional bank. I don't want to go through these traditional methods of buying real estate. There are ways for you to, to get into the game with no money out of your pocket, no credit check. And the way we do that is we do it through either seller finance or subject to. We buy everything this way. Businesses we own, RV parks, mobile home parks, multifamily properties, commercial properties, et cetera, all by just going directly to the seller. So I would go on Crexy.com and I would go type in the search feature, owner finance, press enter, and Crexy will pull up like thousands of opportunities in America, hotels, land, RV parks, all the things that we've already talked about, all where the seller will give you 2%, 3%, 4% interest, and they'll let you make payments to them over time, therefore bypassing the banks. We're gonna to continue to acquire, but what I'm doing is I'm consolidating my single family properties and moving them into larger properties with less management. And by the time 2025 comes around, I'm hoping that interest rates will be somewhere in the fours, and I can go and refinance all my properties that I bought five years ago, six years ago, and I wanna pull out $10 million, $15 million in cash and 
deploy some of that $15 million into my lending business, where I lend money to fix and flippers. I have a, a company called myinvestorloan.com. I wanna put more cash into that business so I can help more fix and flippers get funding. And so that's my game plan. And I think that the Fed lowering rates overall is a really good thing, except if you're a first time home buyer that is looking for prices to come down. Prices aren't coming down. They're not gonna be coming down anytime soon. I just bought a sevenplex in Sacramento yesterday. Sacramento in 2024 has already gone up in value 12% appreciation, 12%. You can look on YouTube right now, see all these people talking about how the market is crashing. Guys, no it's not. And when rates go down, everything's gonna soar up. So here's what I would do. I would start by going to my free Facebook group, Creative Finance with Pace Morby, and I would start scrolling through and networking with people in there that are actively doing deals. Find my students in my community and start working with them to find deals out there. There's deals two, three, four percent right now that the seller will let you take over payments regardless of what the Fed is doing. And what we'll do guys is as we get closer to the Fed dropping, we'll give you an update and I'll show you a couple of properties that I'm selling and why I'm selling them. And I'll give you a little bit more information in the next video. But until then, please give us a like, a subscribe. We appreciate it so much. Please share this with a friend and hopefully I do a deal with you.